Good afternoon, Shrewdness. I am posting this video today to expose, get more eyes on a clip of CNBC blatantly, publicly talking about synthetic shorts. The CNBC reporter also made sure to tie in the fact that these big firms can hide their positions and swaps. So they can post a 13F, a publicly reported position from a firm or an institution that they are long bullish on a company when they are really bearish, when they're really short on the company, masking it and hiding the trade through the swaps. It's crazy that this is coming out to the public especially right now, because it's just another confirmation that the GME apes, the AMC apes alike, have gotten what's happening in today's stock market right on the dot. Of course, every day that passes by, they try to flip the narrative and make it seem like we have no clue what we're talking about, and that's A-OK. -okay. I feel like a lot of us are fine with that. But every day that passes by, it seems like there's another rock that's turned over just to expose something else that the apes have been talking about for over a year now. And it's just another piece of corruption on top of another piece of corruption. So I wanted to post this video for the ones uh, that haven't seen this yet today. It is the talk of the town around Reddit, around Twitter, and it's from CNBC. So it was a public statement that was made. I haven't heard any news agency, media agency say this as blatantly as it was said. It's a little bit edited. So I'm going to put a shout out in the description below for the one who actually edited this video. But without any further ado, let's just go ahead and watch this together. Well, I'm going to say something that our management won't like. So if any of our <laughs> bosses are listening, mute the volume. How does a firm amass such big positions synthetically? And I'll give you, uh, an, I'll give you an extra order of tater tots if you throw in contracts for difference and or total return swaps into your answer. Yeah. Every quarter, we talk about <laughs> these 13 Fs. We call it whale watching. We look at, you know, the big funds, SEC filings on what they hold. I'm not saying they're not worth looking at, but here's the reality of the modern Wall Street. A lot of those positions might be fake positions or dummy positions to mask trades that are exactly the opposite, i.e., you own some of the actual equity, but you are synthetically short. Or what I mentioned earlier, contracts for differences, which are swaps, ways to bet against things synthetically. You don't own anything. You're betting on a move. You can be paid up front. By the way, those are illegal in the United States. Yeah, um, you know, it's, it's not something that hedge funds are new to. They have had to file 13 Fs for, I think, decades at this point. Um, and so they've figured out what happens when you disclose a certain type of position, a certain size of position. People catch on to it. They <laughs> well, when I was at CNBC, they taught us not to overcomplicate things on the air. So I'll just say this whole situation to me is like a string of, are you effing kidding me? What got Melvin Capital into trouble, I guess, is that they had to report ownership of put options, which effectively told the market we're, we're uh, massively short these stocks. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>